Now we take a much drier look outside at our own backyard. This is a live look at Celery Bog in West Lafayette. And unlike the Gulf Coast, it's clear from the water levels that we just haven't seen enough rain. If we could just get Tropical Storm Debbie, just move on well, to the Midwest. Well, well, you don't want that, Jamie, because the worst thing we could do at this point is get a torrential downpour of more than three, four, five inches. Oh. Some areas today can even expect more than 12 inches of rain down in Florida. So the last thing we want with the, all the dry conditions we've been seeing is all of that rainfall. And here's a look over the last six hours, what Debbie's been doing. Now check this out, just continuing to rotate, only moving eastward around three miles per hour. It's pretty impressive how slow this is moving, and that's why we're seeing so much rainfall across uh, the Florida Peninsula at this time. Like I said, a few areas actually for the northern part of the state could catch as much as 12 inches of rain throughout the rest of the day. And as for us, well, we're looking at dry conditions. And if we go to Rencan, we can show you exactly how dry things are out there. Not a cloud in the sky. The majority of the viewing area actually under a severe drought at this time. Other portions under moderate and light drought. But we are seeing at least a light drought throughout the entire region. Anywhere from about 3 inches below average for this time of the year to as much as 12 to 15 inches below average. We are at 75 degrees right now. And humidity continuing to stay low, only at 39%. And that's due to this high pressure system continuing to sit to our north. 75 for downtown Lafayette, 72 Monticello. We're down around 73 for Morocco at this time. And the high pressure just sitting off to our north will continue to keep things clear. Now over the next uh, 24 to 48 hours, we could see some light cloud cover move in at times. But for the most part, we will be staying clear and sunny. Now as this high drags further off to the east southeast, that's when those winds will begin to shift from the north to the south and that's going to help warm things up and eventually bring us a chance for some rain. Now the high pressure drags further to the east, keeps the cloud cover off to our west and to our north for the most part. A few light clouds are a possibility overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning, but this high should keep the majority of us staying mainly clear. 81 degrees, that's what we can expect by 3 p.m. 5 p.m. winds from the east around 5 to 15 miles per hour, 83. A lot like yesterday, in fact, just a degree warmer than yesterday afternoon. 71 overnight uh, by 10 p.m. and then we drop all the way down to 55 tonight. But the main and most important story tonight are those winds. Check those winds shifting out to the southeast around 0 to 5 miles per hour, though calm. That's the beginning of the warm up. We will see temperatures warm up quite a bit into tomorrow already. So one last day in the 80s. That high moves to our southeast and as it does that, it shifts those winds, warms us right up and we are talking about downright dangerous heat headed our way into Wednesday and Thursday and really the remainder of the seven day forecast. For tomorrow, mostly sunny skies at times. Winds gusting up near 20 miles per hour from the south southwest, maybe even as high as 25 miles per hour. But there's your high temperature for the day in Lafayette. 93 degrees with those winds shifting and certainly a nice temperature jump in store for us. When you think 93 is warm, just wait till Thursday. Thursday rolls around. We're talking about temperatures in the triple digits. But the good news, if any, is that things will be very dry, and that means we won't be seeing heat indices much higher than the actual temperature. But that actually is a double-edged sword because on top of that, another dry day, another breezy day, could be dealing with plenty of chances for grass fires around the region. So we hit 101 on Thursday. That breaks a record set back in 1977 of 95 degrees. We dropped down to 98 on Friday. And that is sad to say that we dropped down to 98 on Friday. Scattered showers and thunderstorms, a possibility that day with a weak cold front moving in Friday afternoon and evening. Now check out Saturday through Monday. We sit in the 90s and stay dry once again, mostly sunny skies and temperatures ranging in the mid to low 90s.